Hello, ladies, gents, and random viewers who saw this randomly on the recommended feed and went, oh, wow, he's still doing this? And then clicked on it at a random morbid curiosity. It's all random. That's the word of the day, apparently. Yes, I'm still doing it. I'm trying to prove to myself, welcome to my repeated attempts at proving to myself that I still got it. The thing is, it has been so many attempts that if I manage to have one million dollar in the daily challenge, it's still completely, it doesn't prove nothing because I have gone maybe through, what is it by now? Five, six of them where I die in a, the most humiliating way and clearly shows that I, I, I just don't got it no more. But it's okay though. I just want to pull it off once. I got to pull it off once. It doesn't, it's not like riding a freaking bike. You don't get all your skills in a matter of one minute of practice. I have been away from HD for so long. It has been so long. 87 years at least. That uh, you can't expect me. To just suddenly just, oh, I'm just going to get back to the level I was. And that is rose tinted glasses anyway. Back then, at my HD Prime, I still failed probably at least 50% of the time, right? I think that is even a generous estimate. Probably the failure rate was at the 70% marker or something silly like that. That being said, I am getting much more used to the way that Splunk HD moves. It does take a while to habituate yourself. There is a 0% chan chance this man survives this encounter. We make certain he gets obliterated. We leave behind the trash garbage technology of the ice beam. Not perfective. Mr. Freeze was a total freak to make that work. He was like, try well, there goes Major Stupid. <laughs> he was trying to use things that are off meta. Mr. Freeze just purchased a firearm and uh, you'll do a lot better in your criming. Although maybe when you freeze people uh, in the cartoons, you don't really freeze them to death. He was concerned with the safety to the ultimate safety of his victims. You know, you just give them a little bit of frostbite, perhaps cripple them for the rest of their life. Don't outright kill them. That is just cr absolutely criminal. That is the difference between between wanton torture and outright murder. The difference between a 10 year sentence and a, a becoming a lifer. In the Gotham universe, however, basically you just get a slap in the wrist. You get sent to Arkham Asylum to maybe conspire with the Joker for a few minutes. Get yourself a couple free lunches. Don't have to pay rent anymore. Do villains pay rent? I'm sure there's at least one that has struggled with rent, right? They're not all super rich, super villains that go into their lairs and get a tragic backstory, making certain that somehow it focuses around Batman. Anyway, I don't know how I, I got so deep in the weeds of this tangent. It's not like I am any sort of comics or superhero nerd. It's weird. I gave comics a big chance, maybe like six, five years ago. And I discovered they're really not for me. And I mean comics as in the mono genre of superhero comics. Mm, I will definitely get into the graphic novel, especially manga. Let's just say Berserk and anything that is somewhat similar. It has to be something on that vein, not going to be re catch me reading a slices of life manga where Satoru, uh, through 17 volumes, manages to finally hold Itomi's hand after whiffling waffling for all of those volumes over, oh man, what a big deal. We exchange a glance for two seconds, marriage material. Let's just get out of here. I don't know, there's something about it that just doesn't 
touch me. Something about the mono genre, even when it's it may be like emotional and all that stuff. I'm just not into it. Bounce off pretty hard. Give it a really good try. And I really just don't care. I'd like to, to find the vault at some point. That would be great. That is coming from somebody that I love the crap out of Berserk. Berserk is my absolute favorite of all time. I have uh, discussed it in the past. How, you know, maybe the... Slightly heavy on the rape. <laughs> but it's within context, like, it's supposed to horrify you, right? It's never done... Is it... I, I, I do question that thing that I was about to say. What, is it truly never done in the slightest for titillation? With all the titties that get plastered all over the... Whoa, all over the page. It's like, there is some titillation going on here. It's not... A hundred percent supposed to horrify you. Whoa! <laughs> could have been bad. That could have been bad. Just trying to open the way to this key. Here we have our latest victim. I regret the fact that I spent two bombs on it, but also fills me with joy to see him explode. I mean, we actually have a vault here, but the bomb content of this run so far. Really not great. Cali. Cali is here, ready to make my life so much better. All I need to do is to taint my soul in perpetuity. What a, what a silly, silly, inconsequential price to pay. My soul is already as black as the suit. Oh. There you go. As black as the suit covering my skin after I slide down your chimney to give your mama what for in the butthole. So, you know, I am quite, I am quite ready to give her every pound of flesh I can encounter. There is clearly a vault here somewhere, but this was triggered. I am incapable of finding it, and now that I have found it, kind of a massive pain in my ass to get up there. Do I dare, though? I am the most daring individual. Four bombs takes three to get to the vault. I deem this a prohibitive cost. Let us simply leave this horrendous place. The saga of the CPAP. I left you hanging. Riveting topic of all time. I have been using it to sleep. For a week, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, when you are having big struggles to breathe at night because your body is too stupid to breathe on its own, perhaps your airways are a little too tight. They close up during the night. You can get a little machine. It's like a mask that basically pushes air into your face keeps your airways open that way all through the night. Been using it for a week. Definitely not as uncomfortable as I anticipated. It is a pain in the face. Sometimes literally, if you don't put it on properly. But not even close to as cumbersome and awful as I anticipated. I can definitely sleep with it. Some nights. Ooh, I've had more trouble than others, but overall, you just gotta deal with it. Definitely, I've reached a point where it's like, okay, you know why it's not so bad. Some nights it's gonna bother me more than others, but every night, at least according to the stats on it, it has reduced the number of times I cannot breathe at all from 50 an hour to a couple. Probably a good thing in the long term. Is there a reason to stick around in this area? So, you know, I figure I will close down that entire point that I was talking about. It was such a big deal in the previous episode. You know, I'm sure you were like, man, when is when is the next Spelunky Daily Challenge? I need to find out more about this, this CPAP saga. What does CPAP stand for? Positive air pressure. Pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? 
find ourselves a black market. Shoot that garbage. I am honestly not happy to see this because it means I have to work. Now I have to work at this level. And you know, we hardly have any items to get around. It is pretty annoying. But oh yeah. It's still totally worth it. Come on, man, give me some explosives. It's totally worth it to do the nasty. Uh, if I open this, I'm gonna have to destroy that and then we can destroy this one. There you are. Also, the other riveting co topic of conversation, my keyboard is super great. Apex 3. Apex 3, still series. 100% recommended. Oh! <laughs> Come down. Come your tits. It's all fine. It's all fine. We're going to get through this. <laughs> I really should have. I really should have anticipated that happening. But I didn't. Did I just see the Ujarai blink? Uh, you don't get destroyed? I really thought you did. Oh! That's right. What a nightmare of a uh, level, by the way. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Okay, we need to... We need to go back. Marty, we need to go back. Your mother is a slut! We need to go back and not have you kiss her in the mouth or whatever the hell weird thing you did back in 1984. Uh, I mean, I, I grabbed my shotgun at some point. What the hell, Marty? I sent you back to fix your parents' relationship and you seduced your own mother? Pretty freaked out by you, not gonna lie. Gonna be, uh... Gonna be putting some distance between you and I. I need to disassociate myself with this relation. Really is not something that I want coming back to haunt me. Look at all the drama now with Mr. Beast and all the f people frothing at the mouth. Saying the satisfying downfall of this guy. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be somebody whose who's, uh, peers salivate at the mouth at seeing his downfall. As opposed to being terribly sad that it happened. Something must have gone wrong at some point in the things that I did. For everybody to be happy that I am no longer a squeaky queen. A squeaky queen? Uh, my friend was a squeaky queen. And uh, she was kind of a, also a pervert. Well, that kind of came back to haunt me. So, I, mean, I just need to change my ways, change my associations. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I, I'm just trying to get a few gems ghosted. Stop judging me for the things that I say. Just look at the things that I do and be happy that I have not died yet. Climbing gloves will go so freaking hard for this run. It will be so great. I think I want to grab the gems as I ghost them as opposed to just coming back for them later. If I come down here, will I explode in sadness? I uh, will use a rope not to die here because I don't trust myself. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> too many close calls in this nonsense okay let me just go back go all the way down we opened the way you remember that meme do you remember i know the way that's still in vogue right kids still say that in between level 100 get riz and all that in between trips to ohio they talk about knowing the way to ohio I think now they have swapped it to Delaware. Who knows? Either way, kids these days be whack, yo. Is this rope worth using? Very nice, very nice. Yeah, uh, let me uh, achieve verticality. Now let's see Paul Allen's rope toss. Okay, mm okay, we're good. I am. An adventurous kind of fella. 
We're going to keep this matok. Actually, actually, so we're going to. This is a close call, but it's doable. It's doable. <laughs> Oh yeah, get ghosted, bitch. Uh, actually, we're just going to ghost as much as possible here and then take the shotgun. I think that is the smart thing to do. Apologies if this appears tedious to you. This is the ghosting challenge. This is literally what I am here to do. Make a freaking million dollars. You only need to gather about... Um, what was it? 7,500? Oh, no, 7,500. 750,000? More like 100,000. No, 750,000, because then Yama gives you 250. I think it was like 240, if I recall correctly. That was the amount of money you got between the rubies and the last reward of Yama. So we just need to make 800,000. 860. Most of which should happen in the City of Gold. Like all this. But all this is 100% necessary if you want to get there. Yep. Coasting in the jungle with no climbing gloves. Kind of, uh, you know, a chore. A, a difficulty, for sure. Perhaps the hardest thing you're going to be doing in a score run maybe ghosting in the jungle with hardly any uh, materials to get it done but uh it's all downhill from here it's all easier coming up there's also a sapphire over there i'm going to leave it be i'm sick of it <laughs> just going to grab this diamond over here this thing really does bring me back though this is the true daily challenge experience oh yeah get me out of here Another wonderful jungle level complete. Please give me some black market pings so that we may leave into the small place of the world where we will do a horrendous massacre. Let's get this all the way to the exit. Very nice that it dropped. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I'll never ghost that ruby. Spring shoes? Spring shoes, please. Spring shoes can drop from from uh, the big frogs. Really appreciate it. We are hoping for those climbing gloves, though. Okay, if I toss you carelessly, you will die. Like you will literally die, no matter what I do. If I just toss, so what we can do is grab the shotgun, then toss the shotgun. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, toss the shotgun first. And you know what? I'm going to use a rope here because uh, I hate that jump where you jump right in front of the ticket trap. It's just basically inviting suicide. Oh, there's the black market. I, I hate everything about this, by the way. We're going to use a rope to skip it because I don't trust myself doing the little hope, the little hop. I'm not getting wrecked by missing the hop. Going straight into the damn... Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. This bomb. Check it out. Oh! Gorgeous. Gorgeous! And now we need to go back, get that shotgun. Oh, that's right! I have a cape! <laughs> nice! The idiot at the exit got himself murdered. Oh, baby. Let's get ourselves the shotgun. We don't have much time. Okay, you did. I thought for sure I was a goner because of that boomerang. Okay, he's dead. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we have 20 seconds. Need a little bit of concentration here to get that vault ghosted. It's actually quite the chore. Indeed, we're going to use another rope. I guess I should be happy that we at least we got a few ropes to get around. And in fact, I could have easily ghosted that ruby that I just picked up, but whatever. We got the vault ghosted, that's what matters. 
Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, so what do we want to do here? I don't think there's anything else to be done. We got the health. I think I need to spend a rope to get back up there. There's no other way around it unless I want to spend my last bomb, which would be absolutely silly. Oh, yeah. All right, black market, here we come. Do I want to hide? Do I want to charge? I am a big coward. Oh, baby. <laughs> fifty percent skill, fifty percent luck, a hundred percent power will. Absolutely <laughs> excellent save. A uh, little lucky, slightly fortunate. That is, I'm just gonna put it that way. It was slightly planned. How I hit and then turn around shot. That was a hundred percent my intention. The way that I worked out after that, well, slight, slightly fortunate. It's just, just, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes it's just Spelunky that wins for on your behalf. Yep. Yeah. Hey, okay, catch it a little bit. Thank you for this little bit of money. We're going to shoot down the chute here. My bad. Major stupid, my bad. We hate this ticket trap, we get rid of this ticket trap. And at least we got some spring shoes down there. I'll take it. I'm not... I'm a big beggar, I cannot be a chooser. There you go. Give me that unk! Ooh, baby! Alright. Thankfully there was no mad talk here, so I don't have to feel like I need to stick around the freaking black market. Maximizing profits. Hedge fund manager. I am not a CEO of a gaming company. I am not in the business of maximizing profits at the expense of my uh, gameplay fund. Is that for Kotick and his ilk? Bobby Kotick got pushed out, didn't he? Or at least he got, you know, he's not there anymore. I forget. All these corporate nonsense. I think we just need to wait for this man to get stabbed in the head buy a ticket trap it is only a matter of time right he will get stuck he'll get himself stabbed pretty annoying though I, I just don't want him tussle with the muscle over there I don't want to mingle with this buffoon pretty sure there is no danger I come this way this is just a nightmare I hate it <laughs> we made it through all right well that was an upsetting black market the darkness made it real spicy, but hey, we got this far. Very nice. Let us slowly traverse every corner of the world. Note the locations of mines and gems. Death to this plunker. Seems to me that is a cope from ya, and not quite a declaration of war. Or I. I'm still alive, and you are a lifeless lump on the floor, you idiot! Alright, we're good. Put this shotgun by the exit. And, uh, how you fellas doing? How you fellas doing? We are <laughs> engaging in ice caves ghosting. I wish I could tell you I have a rant ready for you, but I got nothing. I got nothing. In a way, I've already kind of expended all my topics throughout the ghosting that we did in the jungle. Uh, pow. Get rid of you, you piece of scum. I don't want to go back to the whole agent thing. Like, it's in my mind as I play this video game because it's like, it's only semi humorous it's only a half a joke trying to see oh well there goes my ruby <laughs> it's only half a joke trying to see if i have the chops to get back to one million dollars which isn't even that big of an achievement in hd two million dollars that's where it's at those were like the one in a hundred anyway i'll see you when the the ghost shows up
Pretty cool to have this new tech in OBS. New tech, relatively speaking, I'm saying relative to way back when we used to do the old fashioned daily challenges. You couldn't pause the recording like I just did and just wait it out. I will have to subject you to whatever rant I had for the minute and a half that we were waiting for the go sometimes. It will be a painful on all accounts, probably the most skipped forward part of any video. Me just sitting here waiting for the ghost to actually show up at the 2 minute, 30 minute, 30 second mark. I don't really have a, a topic, like I said. I do need to chastise you though. I'm going to do it very gently with 100% the benefit of the doubt. You see, I released a, a book pretty recently. And there were many people who took me up on the review copy offer where you just get a free copy if you uh, leave a leave a review on the internet and i will coach this with i am aware this is a be careful what you wish for kind of thing because if you think oh i'm i'm getting scammed and people wanting a free book and do nothing for it that's not where my mind goes my mind goes like holy crap man uh, the book is so bad that all those people who will are willing to be uh, reviewers for it, they were like, I hate it or I didn't even finish it. It was so bad. And they are just being nice by just saying, uh, hopefully he just forgets about it. He never asked me uh, for a follow up because otherwise I'll have to put down a, a two star review on the Internet. <laughs> well, you asked me for it. And uh, what do you want me to lie for you? I'm not going to do that. So, you know, coached in that entire thing, I uh, will chide you for, hey, maybe you know, go, go, go to the Amazon page go, or to Goodreads and leave that review that was part of our gem gentlemanly agreement. If it's positive, I will tell you without any uh, compunction or shame. If it's not a positive review, don't leave a review for a book that you read from an indie author. It's like you are destroying them if you do that like uh they're not freaking dan brown sada j mass who can tank 300 negative reviews and still come out with 4.2 uh, review score you leave a negative review a one star two star like that is the most like, if you're out, like, you're hate watching this right now and you're trying to hurt me as much as possible with something really hurtful, that's the number one thing you can do for me and anybody that uh, ventures into the writing world and just goes independent. I mean, for pretty much every writing in general. In fact, any creative endeavor. The thing with being a creative person it comes with all the baggage of caring about what other people think because if i didn't care about what you think i wouldn't be putting it out there would i i would just write it and feel really self-satisfied i look at the thing i did uh, aren't i aren't i uh wordsmith for the ages man this really satisfies my internal circuits i don't need anybody to see this to know that it's amazing no if a creative person is putting out what they do to the public is because they give a crap in some level. I try not to like obsessed, uh, obsess and like, you know, that way lies madness when you go way too hard in obsessing over what the public thinks about what you do. To some degree, you need to say F the haters, but because, you know, I, especially when you get slightly bigger there is no way you can avoid a certain percentage of haters because you rub them the, the wrong way in whatever thing that you said or did and some people a small percentage but significant enough to make a blip on your life experience I'm about to be frozen now uh the, something you did or said is going to absolutely piss them off so hard they will make their life a mission to piss to to piss you right back off and make you miserable but anyway bottom line is bottom line is 
if you have a negative review to post, thank you for not posting it. I apologize for having wasted your time, but that's, that's about it. <laughs> that's, that's about all I got to say about that. Uh, you know, I, I, that's the thing. You have to coach it. Wow, well, well, well done. You have to coach it in your mind. Like, there's people out there. I've said this many times before. There's people out there, and this is 100% a truth that you should live by. There are humans in this world whose brains are so different from yours. They might as well be aliens from outer space. There is no common ground except you both breathe air and... Uh, probably need air to breathe and uh, food to to have sustenance. That's the extent of the things that you have in common in the way you think and you experience the world. So you need to coach everything that happens and your in human interactions with that veneer of there's going to be people out there who are basically aliens to me and what I love they will absolutely hate and there is absolutely nothing I can do about it. I wish it weren't true. I wish I could sing freaking Kumbaya and say there is a world of understanding between people. We only need to find it if we try. Uh, for the most part, that will be true. But there is a small percentage that is not true. Wow, that's ass. Let me just get out of here. I think we are done. And I believe that gem that dropped got ghosted right as it dropped gorgeous so you know you need to uh, keep that in mind if you're a creative person who puts their work out there and gets uh, what the hey, didn't you guys know this you hop over it <laughs> I didn't realize that I mean this is very niche a very niche little thing that may not affect you ever but it just did to me so at some point it will affect you if you play this game long enough 3-2, we're good. There was no more ahead in this level. I would have I would have seen it, right? I would have <laughs> it would have made a note in my head. Please. More ahead. Show up and prove me right. Did I my my brain completely gloss, gloss over it? No, okay, good. I'm always so paranoid about stuff like that. Because I do have a history of getting too deep in the weeds and not realizing I need to do something that is right in front of my face. Uh, ghosting opportunities. This is going to this go straight to the bottom. You guys know what I'm doing with these spots? Maybe not. It's been a while since we have discussed the little quirks. Why do you whip the gold piles? Because if you hit it just right at the right moment, you will pick up twice the money. Why do you gather pots? That's a good spot. Why do you gather pots? Put them all in one spot and then blow them up. Why you do that? Is it just for the convenience of having all the gems in one spot? Sure, that is a good reason. But the actual good, the actual reason you do it is because when pots blow up, they explode twice. They have they basically roll twice on the loot table. So you have twice the chances of getting a gem out of it. Was there truly no let's get rid of the shopkeeper real quick. Uh, was there truly no mines anywhere here? That disappoints me greatly. I want to use one of my very precious explosives that I anticipate to make a giant profit on when we reach the City of Gold. But it may not be a choice. Certainly not going to use one to get a, a freaking emerald, but I will use it. Put it there. Maybe get something out of those spots. Prove me right. I was not proved right. In fact, <laughs> there was zero gems in those spots. There's only like four of them, I think. Oh, almost dropped there. Probably would have exploded. All right, all right. Seems like we are done. A very short, not very interactive level. Making sure there's nothing else to be to be done here. This one's very easy to ghost. Basically, every gem in this one is pretty easy to ghost. So I'm just gonna wait for the ghost again. By the way, if you want a review copy of my latest book that I just released, or any book that I got. We will do, I'll send it to you on an email. Make that gentlemanly agreement. Once you're done reading, please re leave a review on either, you know, where it's sold is going to be either Amazon, Goodreads, that they're all are also in Kobo, which, you know, makes like 0.1% of sales, but 
It's still good to have it there. Some people are... Oh, there's a mine. I can't believe I didn't see that mine before. Do I want to try hard and get that mine? We don't need this shotgun for anything. Uh, do I want to try hard and get this mine for the emerald that I could have uh, blown out of the, the world? I believe I do. And indeed, we want to get Major Stupid to the exit. Wait a minute. Let's see what this, we can get around that nonsense. Come over here. Over there. Oh, it's not open. Get this ghost all the way over here. Yep. Send me an email. My email. I think it's in my, the description. No, the description has my website, which has my email right there. It's EIP Barbuzano at gmail.com. I still remember, man. I remember when having a Gmail account. Oh man, that's just, just that's just terrible. I'm not going to ghost to shit. <laughs> I can do it. I don't want to do it. Um, remember back when Google was new and having a Gmail account was actually kind of a cool thing, a big deal. You actually were computer savvy, so instead of a Yahoo account or an MSN account. You actually had a Google account of, mm, because you knew that was the quality thing that the program has got and, and, you know, the people in the know. Now look at us. Now look at us. Google is an evil corporation gobbling up data, resources, brains, literally erased their former motto of don't be evil. Like, why even bother? What got me got me about the removal? They, if you don't know, Google used to have a motto, something that was printed in their offices and stuff, and it said, "Don't be evil." All right. They removed that at some point, and what really baffled me is like obviously their goals have changed, and they are now you know they're, they're okay with being evil. But what really weirded me out is the fact that they removed it. It's like, why wouldn't you just still pretend to not be evil, though? Like, why are you making this outright statement of, yeah, we're going to be evil now. Uh, let's remove this because this is just not true anymore. It's like, what, <laughs> what was the reasoning behind, look, we can't, we got to be evil, but we can't lie to people. We got to be honest about our dastardly deeds and... The, the way that we are mono monopolizing and just destroying destroying the internet and search engines. We gotta be honest that we are pretty evil about this. I mean, it's, it's just so immoral to lie. We gotta be honest that we are being evil, so let's remove this, this sentence from our offices and our motto, our company goal. This man has somehow, somehow, this son of a bitch is not refusing to let go. Of course, he is, in fact, trapped in there. Uh, this should do it right, right? Am I right, fellas? Get destroyed, scum lord. What a wonderful get before the City of Gold. Absolutely wonderful. Unfortunately, there is just no gems. Oh, there are some gems. There are some gems. Let's get back to the pots. This is looking like a, a feasible one. It is looking, obviously, I need to continue performing. It's looking like it can go places, though, especially with that big bomb pickup that we just did. Oh, I just saw the two sapphires over there. That is worth using a bomb for. Yep. We'll get it, right? Very nice. Is it worth using one bomb for one gem? Absolutely not. Not unless you're loaded with explosives. I think our... Th we had calculated a threshold for that, by the way. <laughs> it's like... Uh, if your count is over 40, is worth it. Because that's the amount of bombs that... Are going to be worth using in the City of Gold. If your count is below 40. There was a number. I don't think it was 40. But if your account is below a certain threshold, 
Uh, you want to save them all for the City of Gold. Alright, we got that gem. Wonderful. Might as well get this emerald as well. Give me that good stuff. It's always so strange, man. Uh, lately there's been all this discussion about uh, Ticketmaster and the other company. The merger that they did recently-ish to basically become a monopoly. And that's yet another baffling thing where, like, it's just not enough. It's baffling in a way, but predictable in others. You know what I'm saying? Humanity's greed and all that stuff. But it's so... What an alien mentality to have. To be the number one hegemon in your field. And instead of being patting yourself on the back, man, this is, this is great. We gotta keep going. Uh, we're doing everything right. You go... It's not enough. It's not enough. We must have more. We must grow bigger. More profit. Yeah, let's join with this other giant company, Hegemon, and dominate the market. At that point, how come nobody goes like, yeah, but this, you know, this is going to create a monopoly that, and the government is going to get involved at some point, right? You, you know that this is what happens. When companies completely dominate a market in this way uh, and get all the vertical integration to a point where we can dictate the price of everything and nobody can contest it. You understand that that's what happens, right? And the, we need more money. <laughs> Just do the merger. I thought I had a shotgun. Do the merger anyway to have that plus one billion dollars added to the 99 billion dollar pile. <laughs> so strange, man. It is what a strange mentality for these companies. And now, I mean, they may or may not pay for it, but they're definitely paying for it. Uh, they're definitely paying for it in the sense of, of uh, lawyer fees fighting the U.S. government that is trying to dissolve their merger at the very least looking into it. You know, it's all cronies. It's all just a disgusting cesspool of corruption. Corruption! Uh, sometimes they do something right. Let's hope that this is one of them. Filthy congressmen. And all their payoffs. Please. <laughs> all the explosions are stressing me out. Real you? Just strange, man. And even, like, from a profit and business standpoint, like, you you need to have someone to tell you, hey, this is, like, the limit. This is how far we can grow, or we're gonna be in trouble with Monopoly laws. How come nobody, nobody in that entire environment, I'm trying to figure out how to go about this. We're gonna put a rope there, I guess. This is safe. This is safe. Don't worry about it. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? <laughs> I'll use the wall. Ah, I wanted to save every single explosive in my inventory. Just stop being... Oh, baby. Stop being so stingy. Ooh. Let me go. Let me go. I was doing the... Splunky 2 thing. where I was letting go of the parachute. Ah. I hate this so much. Oh, wow. I really did not want to get too close to that man. Okay, there you go. Woo! That's done. One more shot. One more shot will do it. Boom! <laughs> Excellent. This is me greatly. Too bad we picked up that gem, but it's not that big a deal. In the grand scheme of things. Don't get me wrong. I am very pro-capitalism. I am a subscriber to the line of thought that it is the least bad system that humanity has come up with. Everything else is just... It leads into even worse things that capitalism does. But uh, there needs to be some sort of... Some sort of stopper. For, for 
Uh, unbridled corporate greed. Pretty centrist in my politics and, uh, you know, eco especially economically. It's like the middle ground is where it's at, where you speak economically, any kind of extreme. You're going to just get rampant abuse. You gotta have a happy medium of uh, moderately regulated capitalism. That's probably where it's at. I'm not trying to invite a politic, uh, politics discussion. I don't know. I just fell into this particular topic just thinking about those corporations and how they got completely... Uh, they got highlighted by Taylor Swift and all of those hysterical Swifties not being able to get themselves a ticket to the... <laughs> a ticket to this concert uh, we want to get the ghost all the way to the top and then get it to ghost that garbage there we go that's how that's why congress started looking into this horrendous monopoly because the swifties were mad and man they are quite the quite the horde and not just a horde but a a voting block you can probably put that in the demographics black voters asian voters Mexican voters, Taylor Swift fan voters, they're probably a bigger percentage than those demographics that I just listed. All right, we've got that money right there. And it truly is a voting block in the sense that 99% will vote blue no matter who, right? <laughs> oh, yo, yo, yo. Oopla, there you go. Because their cult leader has made some Biden cookies. Gotta gotta obey the cult leader. <laughs> anyway, getting a little too deep into this nonsense. Let's just uh, pull back. Go back into freaking Ghost and Gems. Blargo, I can already see the freaking comments. I click on this damn video seeing some spelunky here. I'm, I'm getting all heart, my mellow harshed by your politics talk. I don't even necessarily disagree with what you're saying. I just didn't come here for that. Uh, no! All I can think about is the damn current day politics instead of haha, -ha, funny Spelunky man does a boo-boo. Holy crap! <laughs> funny Spelunky man gets wrecked by alien. I want this alien to go away. And I don't have an AR-15 to go to the border and take matters in my own hands. So, we're going to use the plasma can. Beautiful plasma can. Didn't realize that happened. I'm glad that I did not get just murdered by <laughs> that thing dropping on top of my head. I forget, does HD kill you with the, one of those? Completely forgot about that. Does HD kill you with that dropping on your head or is it just a point of damage? I know in Splunky 2 it's just a point of damage, unless it, it achieves per terminal velocity. Uh, in HD, I, I really have no memory whatsoever whether it kills you or it's just a point of damage. Hopefully, I'll never find out. Uh, this plasma count is going super hard on this pla uh, this level, though. Look at all the freaking gems. Absolutely wonderful. Why do we go uh, with the ghost piles? Oh my, that totally destroyed that semblance of a quote. Why do we whip the ghost... Wi ah! <laughs> Brain completely destroying. I'm gonna say it! Why do we whip the gold piles, Mr. Wayne? That is what I meant to say, and I completely butchered it. And now everybody's just laughing at me! That's something I... Uh... Tangentially with the entire being an author and putting out books for people to read. Uh, inevitably, there are people, and I don't blame them at all, asking, hey, can you do an audiobook of this? Is, is this ever coming as an audiobook? Because that's really the way I like to enjoy stories. And uh, the ubiquitousness of audiobooks really has belied the insane amount of work that goes into it. And it really depends on who you are. For me, it is literally hundreds of hours of work because you may have noticed 
you savvy observer of the things that I say, you may have realized that while sometimes the turn of phrase can be chuckle worthy, sometimes I do come up with cool and hilarious thing to say. Uh, perfect 100% flawless diction is not my strong suit. I will get my tongue tied a good seven times a minute. So recording an audiobook where you need perfect diction, at least in, you know, in the way that I would want it to experience it. I don't want you to be t like trying to correct yourself all the time like I do with the commentary. <laughs> uh, like I do with the commentary, right? You want it said right the first time. If I were to do that, and I know this from 100% experience, I'll, I know for sure I'm going to forget to link it in the description or whatever. Um, I started the audiobook for Eternal. Wait, we don't need this because we are plasma cannon wielders. I started the audiobook for Eternal, my very first fantasy novel, and it really showed me the amount of work that I would have to put in to complete it. I was uh, pretty excited about it, but then there was some kind of distraction and I kind of stopped. You can still find w w how far I got in <clears throat> the video series that I put... <coughs> well, uh, that I posted online. And even those where I thought it was perfect dish diction, there were still comments saying, uh, here's a correction for, like, the final version. Here's a, a couple uh, words that you mispronounce and stuff like that, because I just simply didn't know how they were actually pronounced. Or sometimes, when you're doing... Oh, when you're doing narration, a weird way of pronouncing a word may slip by. You don't even notice it. And it's only noticed when somebody points it out. So, bottom line... I could not record it without spending literal hundreds of hours. And then, of course, then, well, let me look for a voice actor. Because at least the latest book, Lost Lies of Magic, that absolutely needs a female voice actress. So, you look into it, it's actually, uh, for a decent one, it's going to run you two three thousand dollars you know and it's like that is worth spending for somebody that already has a good reader base and they know they're gonna make their money back it's a it's a catch-22 situation because if you don't make the audiobook you have less reach who knows, maybe if you put the audiobook out there, you're going to get the money back because uh, all those people that bought the audiobook but is money that you would not get if you didn't make the audiobook, but then making the audiobook is a massive expenditure that may or may not be an investment. That is the entire question. It's like, is this an investment or is it a, a vanity project that I am indulging on? Give me that scepter. We are going to eliminate this scum lord. Destroy! Seems like there's still an asshole somewhere at the bottom. I absolutely despise the fact that this is dar a dark level, by the way. This is the worst. Absolute worst, because you want to destroy this level to its foundations. But the darkness makes it such a chore, and it makes it so much harder. To get our room. <laughs> that was triggered. <laughs> I think I had already uh, thrown down the torch for the purposes of triggering the arrow trap. I don't even know what I'm destroying. Holy crap, there was a Hawkman over there. <laughs> Absolutely hating this level, by the way. The darkness makes it so annoying. There's the man. I hate to spend bombs too, it's like this level's gonna be a massive chore, but I'm gonna stick around. I'm gonna do it! I don't know why I'm destroying these. I don't have infinite resources to get back up. 
Uh, yeah, you know, the, there's this uh, thing that is a scepter, but it is literally doing a death wherever I send it. Foolishness, man. Foolishness. Let me get rid of this. I really want the ghost to come from the other side. Careful, though. Asking for trouble. Coming down this way. Whoop. I don't know where the vault is at, honestly. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> like I said. Darkness. It's so awful. Whew. At least we got the vault. That's nice. Just obliterate the level. We don't like this. Oh! <laughs> oh man, this is just certain death, isn't it? <laughs> the more I spend in this place, the more I am guaranteed to die a horrible death. Really need to go on my way to uh, grab the torch and light up some torches here. That will make my life a lot, a lot easier. Going to do just that. Okay, there goes that ghosted. I'm gonna go do that now. Oh well, that sucks. Uh, there's the no, that's not the torch. Where's the torch? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Darkness! There's the torch up there. We're gonna light up a few torches here. Unfortunately, there's just no torches up here. But there were quite a few on this side. Man, it's just such a dark freaking level. This helps? Not a whole lot. But it does help. A couple torches down there. We can go down there. Wielding the torch. It's another one down here. Should use the scepter to get rid of these scum lords. Yeah, I wanted to light it without picking up the thing. Somehow, brother. Somehow we're not dead. Making our round through this nonsense. Get rid of those scum lords down there. Damn Hawkman. Okay, we're, we're good. Where light is concerned, I think. We really need to light that one up. I really do want to get rid. There was a, a crush trap somewhere around here. There it is. Blow it up, baby. We don't want to blow up this area, though. Actually, we do, because there's a ruby. Somehow. I will not say this is, like, the hardest one that we have encountered. Because the, at least there were resources to be found, as opposed to other daily challenges we've done. But, uh... You're still alive, huh? Uh, definitely not a free lunch this daily challenge almost an hour you know this video is going to be up for at least three days without me doing anything else I am too intimidated by this ghost not to use the rope here uh, like I've said many times before I like to hover around the 30 30 minute mark for videos that's like my sweet spot far too long far too long because, you know, if I record a one-hour video, it means I will only have four to post in the in the rest of the week. Or however many I manage to get done. Okay, that's destroyed. Ah, yeah. It really does take me back, though. Try harding that daily challenge. Look at that, 800,000. We just need to make it to hell. And just by picking up things, we're gonna make it. Hola! <laughs> oh, 
That was entirely unnecessary. That was so not needed. Okay, let's go over to the other side. I haven't tried harder this hard. Since I was down there at the brothel, I mark my mark my preferred customer put three hundred dollars on the coffee table and said, "Surprise me, butt boy." Man, did I go out of my way to make sure he got his money's worth. Both my butthole and my elbow were extremely sore after that, but. Totally worth the money. I, mean, I, had, I had a lot of fun too. Let's not disguise it as something that it doesn't please me deeply. Anyway, let's destroy that. Ghost that gem. I haven't seen the bottom of this level. Let's destroy it before I even lay eyes upon it. Look at all that money! Oh, baby! <sighs> we do want to see what the hell is there. Let me grab the torch. And we're going to carefully approach that side of the level that I have not even seen. Well, that's nice. Somehow this crush trap is all still there. Hmm, ghosting, that's gonna be annoying. Never mind, it was extremely easy. Uh, I don't think we even care about opening our way into that area, into that side of the level. I didn't see a single uh, bit of money. Oopla. That being said, I am a greedy mofo. And here I am, about 27 seconds before getting crushed by this surprise crush trap. I deem this level exploited for all it's worth. Let's get Major Stupid to the exit. Maybe another gem on the other side. Oh, we're good. Hey, let's go through the exit, baby. I still got it. I, even if I don't get the million, I'm feeling pretty good about this entire experience. In HD, there's really no downside to throwing the purple crap all over the level. Unless you're really concerned with getting a live damsel. That's about the entirety of it. And also there are uh, possible crocmen that may telefrag you from off stream. That's a thing that can happen. Or, you know, it can double back and almost murder you. I'm just trying to kill the shopkeeper is what I'm trying to do here. Hmm. I think I'm I'm ready to spend one bomb. Ooh. To get to the exit down there. This does it, right? We'll destroy that uh trust trap. No, it doesn't. Trigger? Bro. You don't wanna skimp on resources when you're in this situation. Definitely want to give myself a shortcut though. That lava pool is just asking to give me the warmest bath in existence. We're clear to the exit though. Check that. Hello, sir. I invite you to go straight to hell. This pleases me. All right. Uh, am I going to go through here? The answer is no. No, I'm not. Please don't kill me. You didn't come back to destroy me. I'm just going to grab the gems. Uh, sure, I'll put a rope up there just to make my life a little bit easier. Get around. You may have noticed all topics of discussion have been abandoned. There's my beautiful damsel. I uh, got uh, slightly trounced by my violent ways. Sure, I'll put a bomb here. I am 100% tryharding, 100% concentrating. Not throwing this run into the garbage. It's a good one. I mean, the ghost is almost here. I could have definitely ghosted that, but whatever, man. Get me that shotgun. Oh, yeah. 
and we go to the City of Gold with a decent pile of bombs. Shotgun and 7 health, which in HD is, you may as well be rich. The palas are not nearly as ever present in HD. Health is a far more valuable commodity. I'm glad. Okay, even the shopkeeper did. Very nice. Okay, don't play don't play no games with this nonsense. You go over here and you start shooting. Get wrecked. Son. You should have blown up that pot. So since I have a decent amount of bombs, I feel no qualms. Starting out, putting down a few to open up the level a little bit. Make my navigation of it much less challenging. Uh, oh, that was poorly placed, but whatever. Got rid of the ticket traps. Die. Of course, you want to place them whatever there's gems. Not really just destroy blocks for no reason, right? Man, I really should have not counted on it being triggered by default. Yep. Oh, we respect the mummies. Death upon you. Death upon you. Alright. And the shopkeeper suit should be there. Look at what a wonderful sight. Absolutely love it. Do this. Throw it back. Somehow I managed to be all the way back there, huh? How do you manage that? There you go. I thought that was the exit, but of course it's being pointed at the exit by the compass. Alright. Oh, ah, no! Oh, I thought he was dead! Oh, baby. Suddenly, my life is a lot more complicated. <laughs> Oh man, oh baby, that was painful. Now I knew it took an actually end the run by virtue of spawning a skeleton right under my anus. So please, I knew it too. Do not do it. Do not come. Do not come. We got 15 seconds, buddy. All right, we got it. We got this done. We're so close to the million. So close to the million. I am liable. Do not pull it off. I don't think it matters too much where the ghost is coming from. We're uh, in it for a long haul. We have 19 bombs. Keep paying attention. Of course, the, we're suddenly enormously pressed to get this ghost to the... I mean, this ghost, this dog to the exit. Every point of health is going to matter. Okay, okay. We gotta be ghosted over here. Might as well do more than one thing at the same time. Oh, yeah. Yep. Now we got rid of that. Got all these gems. Hate this sticky trap. Must get rid of it. And this ruby down here is such a chore to get. I'm not even going to do it. Oh, yeah. So a reason to carry this shotgun? Eh, maybe. And you want to leave yourself with about 10. It has just 8. To have a comfortable Olmec fight. Oh, there's a lot of gems over here that I haven't ghosted, so let's do it. Ah, this ruby is a major pain. We gotta approach it from... The top, I think. One million dollars. Mission accomplished. Roll down the banner. Let me give a speech in an aircraft carrier. Absolutely wonderful. Show of Spelunky skill. No luck whatsoever, especially none involved in the black market. 100% skill coming out of my fingers on my face. I am the greatest of all time. Hmm. Why am I opening this? Giving this man free reign to come and munch on my head. Anyway, what we want is the go. Oh, almost did it. <laughs> almost went up there. 
Got myself arrow trapped. Okay, I think we'll do this. Uh, we'll do something like that. Put a bomb there. Oh yeah. Sapphire as well. So we have 13 bombs. I don't think I've seen any more any more gems. This why am I carrying the shotgun when all it does is encumber me? Will I miss this climbing gloves and get myself killed? <laughs> Missed it once. Ah, anyway. 12 bombs, 12 bombs. Uh, I don't think there's any more gems, so we're gonna put them in profitable spots. Is that a profitable spot? I have my doubts. Okay, that's it. Keeping the rest for Olmec. We be done with the City of Gold. A very good destruction. Clearly lots of money still here. But uh, for the resources that we came in, very, very good city of gold. Didn't fully optimize my bombing, but I'm satisfied. I'm happy with it. That, and the shotgun. Oh, I missed a few gold nuggets. Freaking corporate CEOs will be so ashamed of me bit. Okay, we're done. Damn it. 1.13 million dollar. Uncle Blargo did it again. Get out of here. Do I even want the bomb? Olmec. The thing about Olmec in HD, he's actually a threat. I am bad at Olmeking. And he has a, a way of just getting you stumped. If you don't do the bombing down, the bombing straight down and throwing him into the lava that way. If you play this straight and do the fight the way you're supposed to do the fight, I give myself about a 50% chance of just dying to him. So we're gonna put a few bombs down and just count on at least one of these crates to contain explosives. There you are. Pleases me greatly. Not a whole lot of crates, but. Having three is good enough. That's where I get this cash. So I am a big fat loot whore. Eh? Ah, it's not reachable, I don't think. I think it's reachable, but it takes way too much effort to get it done. So where's the munchies? The Necronomicon shall fold, show me the way, much like it did in real life. Now I am here, standing on the bones of my enemies. And they are giving me a foot massage! Oh, we actually want to get the Necronomic on all I mean the oh, disgusting dumbass head all the way to the other side. For the Necronomic on munches on the left side. Okay. Hell, here we come. There it is. Woo! And I was about to like, oh, let's ghost these. You fool! There's no ghosting. These gems. Put this here. Here come the ugly, dumbass face head. Oh, baby. <laughs> that was mighty close. All right. Ah, about time, man. Fully redeemed. It don't matter what happens. Fully redeemed. There is no making fun of me anymore. Woo! Hey, it's Kali! Better late than ever. Than never? Ooh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh man, I should have been horrendously impaled there in the most anticlimactic interaction of all time. Yeah, I could ghost in hell. I don't want to do it, though. <laughs> it's such a chore. The ghosting hell. All right, just pick up the gems. And the thing is, in hell, everything is double value. 
So you're not missing out that much money when you don't ghost. Because the diamonds are not double value, you know. Anyway, we have two points of health. Like, Kali is actually a massive boon. Going forward, if we manage to get a freaking damsel. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the sneaky, incredible parkour. Amazing fireman. That was uh, great moves by the fireman. Truly impressive. Okay, bud. Yang Shi. Okay, we, 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 don't, we don't trust. Double jump. Save me. Get destroyed. Filth. Oh, man. <laughs> that was awful. Very upsetting. We did get some... I think this may be it. Forget how much flesh we put in her... In her bosom. Oh, I've already been this way. Well, what's down here? Damsel will be great. Okay, we got 30 seconds. A lot to find some kind of something to give her ladyship. This bozo will do it, won't, won't he? 10 seconds, bud. I, mean, I should be using this time. Almost did it. Yeah. I want him to die. Bruh. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm trying my hardest. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't ask me how that did not result. In horrendous face damage. No idea. I thought that would do it, but that was only one point, was it? Look. The damsel. It's in the corner. Oh, but it's behind a rock. I could maybe blow up the... Please. Fine, I'll just... Do it live! I'll keep going. Not care about the Kali Altar. Nightmare! Doing, making me work all the way to the end because I ate the shit out of that uh, mummy barf. Okay, we got this and shoot. Wow, what, what a nightmare descent here. Okay, I was trying to use the cape. Uh, the <laughs> the Vlad's cape does not work the same as in Splunky 2. Okay, we're just gonna. At this point, I just want to get to Yama and win. Give myself a 200,000 payout. Die. Oh man, that's very convenient. That's very nice. Getting the shopkeeper not, be, not to be a chore. Yeah, those... Um, those idols are worth a giant pile of money. What else is worth a giant pile of money? My life! If I make it to Yama, huge payoff. Ooh. Oh, I'm just gonna grab this money. Alright. <laughs> Wonderful. Patting myself on the back, just getting this far is amazing! And we're going to be the biggest cowards. Not going to be fancy. Not going to be brave, bold, or none of those words. We're just going to dig up. Grab every diamond. I mean, every... Ooh, grab every ruby. As it comes. And then... Um, something I should do. Destroy, destroy the ticket traps. Grab your ruby as it comes. Kill Yama with a shotgun. That's the amount of cowardice I'm going to engage in. Zero apologies involved. Oh yeah. Oh, feels good, baby. Oh, poop store. I'm coming for you, poop store. I'm gonna beat you at your own game. Well, that is not the way I meant to throw that. Oh, 
I would rather a uh, fireman did not rain upon my head. I am not a gay man in the YMCA. Please do not give me man meat upon my noggin. Okay, bud. Oopla. Oh, this is unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. If I blow it up, I have about 100% guarantee for that ball. Oh, I keep trying to use it like Spelunky 2's Vladscape. Uh, I have a 100% guarantee of uh, the ball and chain to crush me in the most horrible way possible. Check out this drive. Oh, those were terrible throws, and I feel ashamed of myself. There you go. That is what I wanted. Okay. Slow ascent. Oh, baby. This filthy creature of the night can actually kill me. It's too tense! Too many things can go wrong. If I go too far... Yup, 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 yup! <laughs> Get rid of this. Alright. Please, no more ball and chain. Destroy that. There's a vampire. Please don't kill me, Mr. Vampire! I would just... Quit, but number one, I had a poop store. He's not even there. He's not even there. Oh, poop store, eat my farts. <laughs> I am the greatest. <sighs> and yet I feel like a freaking failure.